there's that that old saying if you want to make god laugh tell him your plans our plan for this christmas break uh, two and a half weeks away from school was to get inside to the, the quonset hut and keep working on that project finish it that's going to have to get tabled for a little bit because we have to get ready as we showed in our last video for our chickens processing our chickens next weekend and so we have uh, scalder and plucker on the way but one of the things that we don't have yet outside is power for both of those pieces of equipment so over on our farm well we have got uh, we're gonna run or put in receptacles on the side of that unit but a problem is that we've got this this is our uh, the panel on the far the farm side of the property and the previous owners ran a 60 amp service all the way down over to the it goes over to the well and then down to the pond and the problem was that we when we were working on trying to get that pump back together or restore which video here of of the whole process of restoring that well they had run a 14 gauge wire to the well so we obviously we had to replace that put in a 10 gauge wire but in the process of replacing and digging to put that wire down didn't know, realize that they had only put that 60 amp service about six inches underground so uh, unfortunately in digging we nicked that wire in a couple of places expecting that it would have been at least two feet underground so uh, we tried to put liquid tape uh, this material the stuff you can buy on the that service and hoped that that would work but within a few months with rain, especially after a heavy rain, we lost power down at the pond on one leg of that service uh, and then have now since lost power on the other leg. So, well, not lost completely, but it's down to something like we're only getting about 15 to 20 volts of, of power down there. So we're going to have to dig a new trench all the way across uh, over to the well from this panel and run a new service over there. So that takes priority. And as sometimes things do on the farm, that's what we're gonna be doing today, is digging about an 80 foot trench from this panel over to the well so we can run a new service. favorite thing digging trenches well that's the about the first six inches all the way over I got about 18 more to go may switch and put the wire in conduit so we don't have to go as deep because it is just uh, this is gonna take a while all right here we go There's one nice thing about this region of North Carolina is that it may be really infertile soil for growing things, but it's not the worst for digging. It's kind of like cutting fudge with this red clay, but no rocks really to speak of. It's just uh, about six inches of this sandy soil and then the rest of it just red clay so not the worst to dig in just gonna wedge this back and forth and wait on it and then pry back and cut out a chunk
Hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. I know we did and continue to celebrate in these eight days of Christmas. It was wonderful to spend time with family and friends, relax. Uh, also celebrated yesterday, our daughter's 17th birthday, and that's just hard to believe how fast time goes. But in between uh, all of that and the celebrations and time with family, we did get some opportunities to get out and keep working on this project. So as you saw in the, the video right before this, we did get the wires run from the main panel in conduit all the way out here to this 100 amp sub feed panel. Now have a 60 amp breaker out here that can reconnects the lines running down to the panel by the pond. So our pond aerator is running again. We also have lights for down by the docks. We're working with them, especially at night and also just power that we need down there anyways. And then we've now added a 240 uh, circuit here that feeds this receptacle and a 120 20 amp for this receptacle. So the exciting part about this, and again, Christmas, Christmas continues, is that Santa is bringing us, hopefully on a tractor trailer today, a 32 gallon scalder, which will run off this 220 circuit, and then also an extra large plucker from Coops and More, Wright Farm Products. So had an opportunity to talk to Jason on the phone and ordered the right equipment and some exciting details there, which we'll show in a future video about, uh, about that equipment that we're getting. Part of why we did all this work was that in this area next to our farm well, our long-term goal is to put in a processing shed or building of some sort where we be able to do all of the processing going forward on our farm, meat processing out here. So these would eventually probably go away and we would just reroute these or run from this subfeed panel into the building right here, be able to have the, the two, 240 here for the scalder and then uh, power receptacles inside the building and then also we've got an open space here where we can add a breaker for lights in that building so very excited about all of that and so really the project is done the only thing that we've got left to do at this point is um we got to fill back in this this trench so that's always a, a little bit of a tough part of a project is you spend all this time digging this ditch and doing it so nicely and then you fill it back in and well you cover up all that that hard work but we'll have to get down here this part in the trees and use shovels and rakes because can't quite get the tractor in here without damaging the trees and pull this stuff back but then thankfully over here we can get the assistance of diesel and hydraulics and we'll just pull this back uh, so it's a lot easier to fill in a trench than it is to dig it but uh, we do so knowing that this is now completely to code, unlike the way it was previously where we had a 60 amp service this far under the ground and it's all done right. So sleep a little bit easier about that. And it opens up opportunities for us in the future. So even though this wasn't a project that we were really planning on doing during this break, I'm glad that we got it done because now in the future, we do things uh, trying, for example, putting in this, this shed, processing shed, everything is already here. It'll make that a lot easier going forward. All right, well, we're going to get on this, and uh, the boys are going to get in with rakes and shovels and start filling that part in. I'll get on the tractor, and then combination, all of us finishing it up, we'll get this done. And hopefully, we'll send out this video with tractor trailer coming today and delivering our new processing equipment, which we are very excited about. All right, let's get to work. Fill this ditch in. Ready? <laughs>
All right, like it was never there. I got this all filled back in. We'll get pine straw raked back across here and get this finished, but that project is completely done. As hoped for and promised, as you can see, got our delivery from Coops and more from, well, Wright Farm Products. Got our scalder, extra large plucker, some extras and goodies uh, that Jason sent along over there that we talked to. So really very, very excited about this. Merry Christmas again. But if we don't get a chance to uh, put up another video before New Year's, I just wanted to say, hope and pray everyone has a very joyful, blessed, grace-filled New Year. And a, a special thanks to everyone that has supported this channel and all that we are doing out here, subscribing, uh, commenting, liking the videos, all of that. Uh, it's just continues to be a, a humbling thing for us, but we are extremely grateful for, well, just the, the generosity of time that people would take to, to watch our videos and follow along with what we're doing out here, our adventures. So until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm, hope everyone is well, take care and God bless.